Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last five boxes of 2020 Bowman Sapphire Baseball. At least our last five for these pick your team breaks. This is pick your team number 21. One auto a box this time. Different, a little different from last year. All card chip, all cards are penny sleeved and top loaded. Some pretty, pretty good stuff. Big thanks to all these wonderful people here who pick their teams straight up. Thanks everyone for getting in. And let's pop these babies open. Let's see what we got. I think there's another two boxes of Sapphire in our 2020 Bowman Baseball Mixer. If you want to get into that, it's a seven box mixer. It's pretty nice if you want to get into it. A couple mini breaks attached to it and a, and a handful of spots straight up. But I think we, go, we certainly have the time to do it tonight if you would like. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If not, if we don't do it tonight, I'll be here tomorrow. 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern, all the way uh, up to around 9 o'clock Pacific, maybe a tiny bit later. A solid eight-hour show, seven nights a week. We got Instagram Live with personal boxes, so check that out, at Jaspies Breaks on Instagram. All right, so just in the interest of time, I'm not going to sleeve and top load everything on camera, but our, our excellent shipping team will certainly take care of that for you. 64 out of 75, Anthony Velope for the Yankees. Clint Melendez picked up the uh, Yankees straight up. And we've got a Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran Duran going to Josh and the Red Sox. Bobby Witt Jr. Take care of those right away. That's uh, for the Royals EA with Kansas City. All right, next box. J Dog, you totally forgot it was only. It's yeah, it's only Friday. Oh, you've got a vacation, so yeah, vacation plus pandemic equals and no live sports equals what day is it? Oh, it's summertime too. No school for kids. You don't know what, uh, who knows what's going on. Robert Duvall's in the natural? I don't know about them. Yeah, it's been very much a thing over the course of the pandemic. Like, no, people are forgetting the, the days of the week. I know without live sports, I've been quite confused. Nice Jason Dominguez for Clint. I think I've heard stories of some people have been struggling with the sleep as well. Especially if they're, you know, are able to work from home. There's John Rave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, EA. Party time with John Rave. 42 out of 50. Good, time, good times with him. You and John, John Rave can go out to random flyer parties. You know, get all dressed up, buy some, buy some candy canes, some lollipops. You know, ma 
make 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 plur bracelets. That that was your nickname in high school, John San John Rave. That's what John Samuelson says. John Samuelson setting up, promoting uh, promoting generator desert parties back in the day. All right, his name is Robert Pawson, Oakland A's, Raymond. Right, oh, glow sticks, OJ, yeah, you gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated in situations like that. If one were so inclined. Uh, yeah, it will break tonight. All we gotta do is that blaster break and then we're done, David. Easy. Not sold out yet, though. Bill with the D-backs, the snakes. Luis Robert, nice, and some red coming up out of 15. Luis Robert for Mark and the White Sox. And we've got Taylor Trammell. Nice. Two out of 15 Padres. John Samuelson. <laughs> or John Rave, as we've learned tonight. Your children know about this lifestyle? Would you ever let your kids go to those, those raves? <laughs> Would you ever let your kids hang out with you if you were their age? Back in that time? Oh, so are we not to talk about this? You brought it up. Uh, who knows if they're listening? They could be independently listening. They aren't around. Well, you don't think they don't have smartphones? They could just be like, hey, we like Joe. Let's just pop in. Let's watch. Uh, let's goof around. Let's let's watch some watch some breaks. It's a it's a public channel. YouTube on their phone. I don't know. Now that you've turned them on to the show. We've got Tristan Lutz back here, 15. Well, that time snap case, that's the one too many times. Right there. I don't see it. Brewers, Matthew Shira. We just, we just outed John Rave, by the way. Sorry. Samuelson, Mrs. Samuelson and kids. That goes to Mark and the White Sox. There's Gunnar Henderson, and that reveals a Padres autograph, Joey Cantillo. Man, John Rave. The kids are going to be asking, why are your pupils so big? And a Jason Dominguez right at the very end of this box. Nice. Go is an underrated movie. Um, I think Sarah Paulson is in that movie. She's a good actress. Was, was Katie Holmes in that movie? Dawson's Creek era Katie Holmes? 
Or was it before Dawson's Creek or after Dawson's Creek? Or maybe it was during Dawson's Creek and she wanted to shed the whatever character she played in Dawson's Creek role? Scott Wolf was in it. Who was it? Uh, Jay Moore, I think, was in it, right? Yeah, Jay Moore and Scott. What a what a weird movie. That movie doesn't get made today, I don't think. I think it was back in the day. I feel like there were like these these sort of mid-range movies that you could make for X amount of millions of dollars, but nowadays it's either it's either got to be super indie, right? these days, or it's got to be like a, a blockbuster, a $150 million, $200 million budget blockbuster or something like that. All right. There's Christian Javier. Behind him is Tanner Hawk, 75. As for the Red Sox, that will be for Josh. <laughs> Brad saying he's so old that raves make him think of Rave On by Mellencamp and the Cocktail soundtrack. The Cocktail soundtrack featured uh, Kokomo by the Beach Boys, right? Was that a one-off single or is that actually on an album? Here's Aaron Shortridge and Miguel Vargas, who's just writing Vargas, I guess. That's his thing. And was Uncle Jesse from Full House the keyboard player on that particular record, Kokomo? I think he might have been. I know he was with the touring band for a little bit, but he might have been in the, those recording sessions. Bobby Wood Jr., Andrew Vaughn, Nolan Jones, and Forrest Whitley at the very end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. You know, that was Bob Coulier. Uh, dated Alanis Morissette. A lot of her first records uh, themes were about Dave Coulier. Cut it out. That was 2020 Bowman Sapphire Baseball 5 Box. Uh, pick your team number 21 from jazzpeacecasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.